May I speak with words that belong to the living God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Please sit down. Um, I don't know whether I would have come to the Christmas fair yesterday if I'd have realized that um, my preaching was going to be reviewed. But I found myself um, having my preaching reviewed and the person concerned who reviewed my preaching suggested that on the whole it was half decent preaching <laughs> and verging over to the very good. But it went on too long. And it might be better, rather than getting two or three points in, to just concentrate on one point. And I thought about that last night, within the context of today, and decided that I'd do it the opposite way round. <laughs> I would still preach with three points but I wouldn't expound them too fully. And I would do that in a quite different way this morning to what I would normally do. I want your minds to run forward from here to there. From here where the people of God meet week by week to celebrate the love of God and to proclaim the truth. And then I want you to run forward to the gates of heaven. And on this particular day, um, I think St. Peter must have got the day off because Jesus was on the gate himself. And each person who came forward Jesus asked a question of them. And it's a question that I think applies to all of us. Why do you think you should be admitted into the kingdom of heaven? The first person in the queue was a very religious man. He said to Jesus, I studied the Bible every day. Oh, that's very good, said our Lord. However, we'll have to carry out a review, an investigation, to see why you studied the Bible every day. So please step aside to my right for a moment. The second person in the queue belonged to the school of Hyacinth Bacay. She was a very pious woman who said, Lord, I say my prayers every day without fail. Very good, the Lord answered. However, we'll have to inquire into your motives and see whether they are pure. So step aside for a moment. The third was the innkeeper. He kept the village pub. And he approached and he said to Jesus, Lord, on earth, I've got no time for religion at all. But my door was always open to the homeless. And I never refused food or drink or clothing to anyone. Very good, said Jesus. In your case, there is clearly no need for an investigation. Go right in and through three or four doors until you stand before my father. It has been said 
that to do a good deed with the wrong motives, it would be better not to do anything at all. The only exception is when we share love with one another. It's better if everything we do is done with a pure heart. But the most important thing that it is done in a way that benefits other people no matter what the motive might be.